Yes, it's finally here. Nuptial flights have started in Australia and I'm pumped and ready. This week I was spending some time with my family at a local dam when at dusk I noticed I was in the middle of a nuptial flight storm. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Ant Keeper where I upload videos twice a week about all things ant related. If you find yourself enjoying this video, please subscribe. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. What an opportunity to witness a nuptial flight so early in the season. I totally wasn't expecting to see ants flying all around me whilst we were watching the sunset. Of course, I was prepared. Everywhere I go, I always bring my test tubes just in case I see a queen. I've lost count how many times I've seen a queen ant only not to have something to keep her safely in. For those who aren't aware, a nuptial flight is when a mature colony produces male and female ants with wings called elates, which emerge out of the colony. These elates synchronize their, I guess you could say, awkward flying with other elates from other colonies. If all goes to plan, the female elates are fertilized by the males, the males die, but the females land on the ground and go on a desperate search for somewhere to excavate a little hole into the soil. This is where she will lay her brood and start her own colony. You may have noticed before I mentioned that this was at dusk. Typically speaking, the best time to see a nuptial flight is during dawn or dusk. Also, after the rain, when it's humid, are great indicators a nuptial flight may begin. The two videos I have of the nuptial flights, the first one at the dam is at dusk, and the second one is at dawn. Depending on where you are, you may be able to find a nuptial flight schedule. If you're from Australia, Gamergate has a fantastic schedule to look at. If you're from outside of Australia, a quick Google search shows ant flights. Maybe this could be a good scheduling tool to use. I'll leave both links in the description below and you can check them out. So what if you can't wait for it to rain to, by coincidence, run into a nuptial flight? Well, you could try searching out for a queen. Like all things in ant keeping, it requires patience and a bit of luck. Maybe a lot of luck. <laughs> Here's a tip when searching for queen ants. Look under rocks. Ant colonies use the heat from rocks to boost the larvae growth, similar to how you might use a heat mat to heat up your test tube setup. As the sun heats the rock up, the warmth of the rock boosts the growth of the colony. Just make sure to roll the rock back over once you've looked underneath it, just in case there's something else using it as a home. In Australia, during September through to November, we can expect to see a variety of different ants to come out during the nuptial season. That includes the black pavement ant, the meat ant, the green head ant, the funnel ant, the ferret ant, the fire ant, and the giant sugar ant. Wouldn't you agree that we are remarkably lucky to have such a diverse array of many amazing ants to find, such a variety of different colors and sizes, different characteristics, such a diverse array of many ants to find and raise with an incredible range of many more queen ants to come later in the year. I cannot wait to find them all whilst out searching or better yet, maybe if I'm lucky enough during a nuptial flight. Here's what I've caught during both nuptial flights and what I've caught whilst searching out for queen ants. First, here are the queen ants I found during the first nuptial flight. So as you can see, you've got the black pavement ants. I have already caught a whole bunch of these, so I'm going to try something new. I want to try and make a multi-queen test tube setup. So the first test tube has two queens inside it, and the other test tube has three queens inside it. The idea of this experiment is to see how the queens behave in such close quarters with other queens, and to see if having more queens equals faster growth in the colony. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated in a later video of my results. There is a spot near I live where I have had massive success finding green head ants. Here's just one I found just a couple of days ago. I love the green head ant. It is my favorite ant. I just adore the metallic green shine on these ants. Aren't they amazing? I just think they're majestic. They're just so beautiful. Lastly, here is a jumping jack bull ant. So this is the first time I have ever stumbled across a bull ant because bull ants aren't really around where I live. So I had to make an extra special trip to go out searching for them. I've been told that this one is a worker, not a queen, which is a shame. But despite that, I've had so much fun watching and learning about this little ant. Up until now, I've been a little bit hesitant to buy a ball ant just because they've got such a bad bite. But I've got a set up here and I've been having so much fun watching and learning about him. I can't wait to find out more and more about these guys. They are just amazing. If you've made it this far into the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. 
It makes my day. I love seeing more people joining in on the ant keeping community. I'd love to know from you, have you ever seen a nuptial flight? Maybe recently? And did you manage to catch any queens? Answer in the comment section below. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, happy ant keeping.